Alright guys, question for TJ. Here we go. What's up fellas? How you doing? Yeah, all right. How are you doing, PJ? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Hey, how great was it to re-sign and you know get a nice contract with the Broncos and all that kind of stuff? Oh man, it's awesome. I'm, I'm super grateful for it. Um, this is where I wanted to be. Uh, I had I had some offers and stuff like that and just came down like man, I, this is where I wanted to be and I took the deal. So. PJ, I know you're having a lot of fun on the Denver Longhorns. How great is it to have so many <laughs> former teammates here? Yeah, man, it's it's awesome, man. You just I, I literally play with every Longhorn here. We were all at the all in college at the same time, so I mean that's that's pretty awesome. When it comes down to like chemistry, that's something like you don't really have to put extra effort to because you kind of already got it a little bit. So yeah, it's it's awesome, man. We're, we're already kind of hearing Malcolm out here. How do you describe, like, just kind of what he brings? To he's team? crazy. He's batshit crazy, man. He's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's going he's gonna to always be the guy uh, in the locker room that's, that's playing the music loud as hell early in the morning. Um, he's going to be loud out here. He's going to bring the energy every single time. And, like, man, that's 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 his role. He knows that's his role, and he, he embraces it. And, man, we need it. We need it for sure. Well, you're you're sure saying that the first time he remembers having a conversation or a long conversation with you about your role on the team was on a plane ride down to Florida to support Justin after his dad. What do you remember about that conversation with him? Yeah, man, I just had, you know, I got, I have the utmost respect for uh, Coach Payton, man. You know, you know we, just, we had plenty of talks. It just talk, talks about, like, just my journey getting to the NFL. Just, I mean, you know, he can go, too. And <laughs> he has a story for everything. And, you know, everything I say, he has a story behind it. And, you know, he just gave me some confidence that, you know, he had confidence in me. And, you know, that, that goes a long way with me. When a coach had confidence in me, it's like I, I don't know. It gives me a boost of, boost of energy, boost of confidence in myself. And you know, when I play confident, I'm dangerous. So he, he talks a lot about how you can't have confidence on the field until you've gone out there and you've proved to yourself that you can do it. He kind of used you as the perfect example of mm -hmm. the demonstrated ability. When did you get that confidence that you could be a starter? In this Man, uh, I, I always felt like I was a starter at some point. You know, I just, I just needed my break. Um, what kind of changed my, my situation a little bit is like, I mean, I was having a good training camp last year and uh, unfortunately I ended up dislocating my big toe and it kind of set me back and I get put on IR and I was I was like really discouraged because I, I had finally found my role. I felt like I did and um, just I was just in that mode. And, you know, that injury set me back and I was upset, you know, that I got put on IR and everything and I understand like, everything happens for a reason. I'm a man of God. so. I wasn't gonna second guess it, but my biggest thing was, and what Justin and Kareem and all those guys told me, it was like, man, just stay in tune. You know, we have DB dinners every Thursday. It was like, man, keep coming to DB dinners. Like, you're still a part of the team. And one thing that I did tweak was, man, when I was on, when I was on the field at the games that I, you know, I was still on IR, I made sure I had the headset on and I heard every single call that BJ was making and every single adjustments uh, that. CP was making with Kareem and Justin. I'm like right there in the conversation. So, uh, you know, just taking care of that mental side of the game. When I when I got back, all I had to really do was just work on my physical side. The mental side was already up to beat. So uh, that's what made everything easier. What, what, what food is served at DB dinners? Uh, I mean, we, we pick different restaurants every week. Uh, most of the time when you continue to win, we kind of stay at the same restaurant. So, you know, we, we was flopping back and forth with a lot of different <laughs> restaurants at first. And then uh, we kind of stuck with one restaurant because we went on to like a five, six game winning streak. So that was really cool. But uh, but yeah, we, we go to different restaurants. With, yeah. you, with Justin and Kaycheck not around anymore, are you organizing those DB dinners now? And just, are you kind of the leader <laughs> of that group? Yeah, I pretty much have to take over the role. And I, I have Pat, Pat kind of uh, helps organize everything. Um, you know, he, he big money and everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, it was, that was just a tough situation because I didn't go into this year. Like right after the season ended, uh, we had our exit meetings and it was like, hey, what things I need to work on and stuff like that. And, you know, I expected to play with Justin at least one more year. And then when I heard the news, like I had a shift in mindset. It was just like, golly, man, I thought I was gonna have one more year to kind of watch how he do things. And uh, so right right now I'm working through stuff and, you know, uh, it's, it's not really it's not really hard. It's just trying to find my way to do it because I'm not Justin. I'm not Kareem. And, uh, I'm more like a lead by example type of guy. And um, yeah, just, I mean, it's just everything they brought to the table is kind of using some of those things and you know kind of creating my own way. Just kind of like how I do when I'm studying a, a certain type of DB or a certain type of safety. So, how do you feel just how far you know you've come in your career to finally get stability and kind of be a guy? You know, a, a guy who's going to play a lot and all that. 
Yeah, man, I, I feel like I still have a chip on my shoulder. Uh, I got some personal goals that, you know, I'm not going to really discuss that I want to accomplish. So those are things that keep me hungry. And, you know, I still have this mindset of, you know, just, just proving it to myself. So I'm, there's no slack being cut at all that, I, you know, maybe I have some stability or not. It's, it's all, like, intrinsic motivation for me. Do you still, what's a big game? I was, you know, do you still look at it as going to be a battle at starting safety between you and Caden when he kind of comes back, or how do you look at that situation? Man, I just, no, I just take care of myself, man. It's just one of those situations where, you know, I, I got to continue to come to work and be consistent every day, and you know, however the chips fall, that's how they fall. PJ, what, what's it been like having Jim Leonard, a guy who's now coached for a while, but played your same position here, but in the league for for a while? Man, uh, you can see I, I kind of lit up a little bit. Um, man, it, it's it's awesome uh, since he got here. I mean, I've been in constant communication with him about just different things I can work on. And it's just crazy, like, the different things he brings to the table and then ha actually having that, uh, you know, just having that background. And I want to say he was an all-pro, right? Was he an all-pro safety at some point? He was definitely all-Big Ten. Oh, all-Big Ten, whatever. For a long time. Anyway, either way it goes. I mean, like, he, he's taught me some things that, you know, I didn't really know about. And um, I think he's going to help take everybody's game to the next level. Right. what he brings to the table. So. Thanks, PJ. 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 Thanks, P